We're Lottie and Margaret, and we love e-bikes, camper vans, and cats. We bought and built our last home for six thousand U.S. dollars, but now stuck in a tiny village in the middle of nowhere, Czech Republic, we've decided to build ourselves an upgrade. With the help of some 3D printers and the Ultimate Workshop, we're building out a modern luxury van for full-time living and travel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to watch the progress. Ready, Millie? Today's video is sponsored by Omaze. Make sure to go to omaze.com slash L&M for your chance to win a custom tiny home. But more on that later. We need to talk about design. This week, we really need to make sure that our roof layout is going to work out just the way we want it. Here's the front of the van and here's the back. And then we have the big window and a couch below it. And here is the rear smaller window and a bed should be somewhere here. So these strips you see here, these are roof windows I just ordered recently. So what we decided to do is having these strips, probably this long, this wide, and there'll be three glazed windows. That top and the bottom will be hardened so it doesn't shatter when you actually have accident. And the middle one will have a special metallic surface to reflect the heat mm -hmm. and uh, it just has better insulation, uh, insulating um, properties. properties. So uh, between these three uh, layers of windows, mm -hmm. we have air gaps filled with argon uh, gas. That's a special <laughs> insulation. That this is what the window makers use. And th this to me is the best way how to do windows in a camper van. So that means that this won't be dealing with any condensation at all, which was when we first came up with this idea, right. that was the biggest headache was how do we do something above us that we can have exactly. the view, insulate well, have automated curtains on, have all of these things that won't give us a headache, that won't be the same annoyance that the windshield Pan can be. Panorama windows and roof windows in general in apartments have something to it. Once you have just one roof window and you have this natural light mm -hmm. spilling all over the room throughout the entire day, that has completely different feeling even with no other windows. Mm -hmm. So having two wide panoramas will give this van a really cool feeling inside, like a spacious ship. You don't want to be trapped with condensation dropping at your bed every single night. Three layers, that's pretty well insulated too. We won't have the same insulation sacrifice that people have at all the windows along the sides of their vans. If you guys do only one layer, which some people we saw on YouTube do, just one layer of polycarbonate full might be hardened uh, six millimeters, let's say then you have no insulation between outside and inside. So when you heat up the van, you have so much condensation that it's seriously dripping on the ground. So this sandwich is gonna be 44 millimeters thick. That is something like this. Because I'm gonna be cutting such a huge windows in the entire width of the van. So I need to cut it out and make a proper frame support. Cool. Yeah.
were fully anticipating this build to take longer than the last time. We built the last span in about three months as I was on a Schengen visa and had limited time in Europe. Now that I'm a temporary resident of Czechia and since COVID is keeping us all on our toes, we're taking the time to truly customize everything we simply bought before, such as the roof windows. Last time we bought and installed two of them and it only took a few hours to install. This time we're buying two, customizing the controls, customizing the speed, putting in a custom frame with a custom window onto the roof. What took us merely hours last time is much more tedious this time around, which makes it a longer process overall. Hopefully you all like detail-oriented build videos because there are plenty more to come. It's time for the kitten commute. <laughs> I see something. Ahoy! Ahoy! Yo, Yavim. Say hi to Dad. Yavushik. <laughs> little bunny works very well what is it it's our roof windows <laughs> wow yes not sure if i want to take that off yet but look at it how nice That's pretty good. That's a good blow and it's a maximum RPM. That's cute. <laughs> oh, this is actually... Light is super Whoa! Good. That's good. That is strong. Uh -huh. That'll be good. How do you feel about new windows? I'm jazzed. I was a little nervous because I think these ones are actually, these are blue. We'll see what the blue tint does in the end. It's so subtle. It is very I wanted black, but we were rushing. They had only these ones in Europe. Oh, yeah. So, so this there. big one will be at the front. This one will be over the bed. They both have fans. Easier to show you from the bottom. They both have fans that go in and out, which is a big thing for us. And a few levels, but this was the Lottie invention. Honey, can I tell them your idea? So Lottie's gonna be able to control the speed of these fans. This is called so PVM Relay, and I'll be, they, they essentially sell versions of these windows. Some of them have uh, multiple speeds, some dials. of them have, have dials, so you can change intensity. And we purposely want it only in, full in, full out, because I won't be using this at all. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, 3D print some cover over, most probably, and then we're going to wire our own controls in a kitchen. So when you start cooking, you have one central panel to just do click and immediately you create air circulation between those. This one, this is the main one. We're gonna have the retractable uh, couch below it. Mm -hmm. So we can turn the air in and then you have like a nice uh, breeze. breeze, yeah, blowing exactly where you need it. This is essentially where the main seating and hangout zones will be when we're in the van anyway. We're either at the couch by the two uh, seats or we're in bed. Yep. Those are the two places we're sitting in stillness. So you want to dictate how the air is moving around you when you're still.
Your hair looks great. Let's go. So this is some gaps that's gonna be for peel glue and it's gonna glue like this. And then after I have this frame, I'm gonna cut the roof because I don't wanna be loosening up the structure and uh, cutting out such a huge cutout. Then I'm gonna have just a thin strip of metal here. So that I wanna make sure it's strong before I cut it. Then I actually ordered the window smaller than this frame. Usually people make them bigger, mm -hmm. so you have something to screw in. I made it a little bit different because I have sandwich, this thick, and I want to go inside and sit it in a groove right here. So in the highest position, it can be maybe here or here, probably this one, it will be sticking out maybe five millimeters. So I can just run glue around all of this, all around, seal it nicely and have never problems with leaks. When you're deciding where you want your roof windows, you need to keep in mind that that location directly impacts your solar location and directly impacts how much solar you can actually have on top of your roof. We're fitting one kilowatt of solar power on top of our roof, which is so much more than the average camper van. And that's because we have a lot of dreams about this camper van being like a power dock. What's really cool about this van size is it's very proportional looking. So because it's so tall and so long, it's hard to really gauge how large it is, except for in person. Lottie is six foot two and some. So when you see him walking around in the van or around the van, keep that in mind. Another thing about our L5 size is that it's about a meter shorter than the 170 Sprinter Extended. So it can still look pretty ridiculous when you're trying to park in a grocery store parking lot, but it is much shorter. The advantage is that it's wider. This is how I think we can get the best of both worlds. So this is how I'm thinking. I have roughly this much, 20 millimeters on both sides from all those windows. And I have something extra at the front and the back. And when I take this entire construction, this entire frame I'll be prototyping and making, I'm hoping to achieve at least 45 degrees. I don't even think it's realistic. I think I'll end up somewhere around 40 degrees like this, but 45, 50 would be the dream. So here's how it's supposed to be tilting. Important thing to mention, at this point, you're deciding whether you're gonna be parking in a shade or the sun. So it depends because you're obviously always stopping the van towards where you think you're gonna be tilting the solar. So that dictates if it's by the side door or the other way. Keep that in mind. Next time with Lottie and Marker. Uh, we're waiting for some deliveries. So next week is a surprised episode. Please enjoy this footage of a neighbor's outdoor cat family until then. <laughs> <laughs>